being an NBA referee and being involved in the planning of how the game was going to be called that night, I knew certain teams were going to be at an advantage or a disadvantage. And it was just a, a situation where I crossed a line that I shouldn't have been near. Never forget when the first situation arose, a friend of mine was looking at the lines in the NBA games and he just asked me to help him pick some winners. And I remember I was looking at the master schedule of referees that night, and I knew who was refereeing certain games, and I, and I picked some games for him. And the games did very well, and he called me the next day, and you know we just had a frank, frank conversation. I knew a, a, a certain line was way off, or I knew a certain re referee was uh, you know, going to give special treatment to a certain owner, team, or individual player. So. I passed that information along to my buddy, and he was kind of shocked that I could predict the outcome of a game. We would discuss certain games that we both liked, and because of my contract with the NBA, I wasn't allowed to place a bet of any kind, so he would contact the bookies and put everything under his name for both of us. It got to the point where we were gambling probably three or four games a week in the NBA. At, um, as time went on, I, I started to feel guilty about doing it, and you know, basically I wanted to stop. What I didn't realize is, is my good friend was passing this information along to people that were associated with organized crime, and they were basically betting an enormous amount of money based on the information that I was giving him.